What's up guys? It's your boy Daybringer001. If you're a fan of Necros or Necros Prime and you love desecration, well, this video is for you. Let's get at it. So this is going to be a desecration build video. I don't use any other of Necros ability. Some people like them, some people don't. I'm not a fan of them. I'm a big fan of desecration. So I'll teach you a few things. So of course, you're going to need Necros, Necros Prime. It doesn't matter. This build fits both, but I'm going to use the Prime. With the Prime, this is a two farmer build. As you can see, I didn't form my R slot. Therefore, I can run any R I need in response to a teammate or teammates, whatever the case may be. You can run any aura you like. You're gonna need Vitality, Redirection, Overextend, Cunning Drift, Vigor, Streamline, Stretch, Fleeting Expertise. Co-action Drift is not a must have, but if you have it, run it. So what this build does is, it gives Necros plenty of survivability. 1200 point shield, 800 points of health, it makes the desecration area really big and the energy efficient is pretty much non-existent. I'll show you in a bit. So here are the effects of the mods we just put on. As you can see, every other ability besides Desecrate is pretty much useless to us. Desecrate costs us 3 energy to cast, 2.5 energy per enemy that is desecrated, and the area of effect 60 plus meters. There is no room in any non-raid mission that is 60 meters big. So no matter where you drop desecration in a non-raid mission, you will cover that room. So any enemy that dies within the room you're in will be desecrated. Pretty damn impressive in my book. Debating it will buy you more time. As you can see, I just dropped desecrate. This is the start of a survival, by the way. On Uranus. <laughs> yeah. Look for personal life support modules dropped by fallen enemies. As I said before, 2.5 energy per enemy that's desecrated. Hence, this is why we are not using flow or prime flow. It's not really needed. I mean, you'll, you'll pick up so much energy and it doesn't create, it's so cheap per enemy. I don't think you need a prime flow or a flow. Plus, if you're one of those people who chose energy siphon, you'll regen more than enough energy. And you'll pick up more than enough energy also. Another way to do this, the way I run it, is if you run Zenert and you have it maxed out so you gain 4 energy per second for the rest of the mission, you will never have an energy problem. Look at my energy. You see it flicker every now and, every now and then. I gain more energy than I lose. It's, it's, it's an upscale battle pretty much. <laughs> You will always have energy to desecrate. You don't have to move. You can just stand there and let your teammates do all the work. Get ready for a capsule. Though I don't recommend it. <laughs> this is for showing purposes only. I, I don't recommend you just stand there. Remember, there is a speed nova on the field. Yet my energy can keep up. This is pretty much it. Nothing else really. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you like this build, by all means, leave a like. Daybringer001. I'm out. <laughs>